Hi, and welcome to Debbie's Rusty Brush. Today, we are going to do another one of my little sheet paintings. It's a primitive little sheet painting. It's a commission job for a couple that is getting married. And so it's a bride and groom sheep, and we, they requested shamrocks and a bouquet and so we just have our little bride and groom so this is what we'll be painting today these are very simple little sheep and you just add the different details that you want to have for whatever occasion it is now if you like my videos please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the little bell notification so you always get um notified whenever I upload a video and share with a friend that you think would like my content. I mostly do painting, furniture painting, thrift hauls. Um, I do do some thrift with me but I'm not very good with the camera when I'm trying to thrift so I, I don't do a lot of those. Um, I also do upcycle videos um, of some of the things that I have thrifted. Uh, occasionally there'll be a booth tour or a booth reset, um, that kind of content. So if you know anybody that likes that content, um, it would be a great help to help my channel grow and I would appreciate it. Now let's get into the video. Okay guys, so we're just going to lay down a base coat and I am using DIY and Dixie Bell products again today and um, some water. I am just putting in water lily and then we're gonna go over it with some Lucky Lavender. And then we are going in with some um, apricot from Dixie Bell just to give it a little look of dusk maybe, um, a little lightness in there. And then I'm going to go in with, i got to put the lids back on, with some um, peony from Dixie Belle. Just want to get some variation in the sky area. Now this is a commission um, for a lady, and she has bought these sheep before and she really loves them and she asked for a bride and groom this time so now we're going to go in now this is a custom mix uh it is diy's um fancy farm girl mixed with some dixie bell uh daisy to get this lighter green and so we're just going to put that on here for the ground now we're going to start on our sheep and um, as we do this we just make this little V so we want to exaggerate the ears on either side and then fill in our V and that is our sheep face. And then we're going to add the little sheep face for our little female. And that is the same process. It helps if you have very tiny brushes when you're doing these. Um, now I do use a brush here that is, um, oh I'm, I'm sorry, I'm adding some white into the face just to give some shadow and some highlight. Um, I have the right hand side of their faces is where the uh, light is coming from. So we want to make sure that we have some highlight in that side. Um, now this brush is an older brush that is a little beat up because what we are going to do is just pounce. We're pouncing on the uh, wool here at the top of their head and then their little bodies. We're just pouncing in some, um, in this case it is white swan um, and we're just going to put their little bodies on and then as we get closer to the bottom we just bring in the top of their little legs. And again, we're going to do the same thing for the female. <clears throat> I 
and I decided on her normally I do just the front facing and I do the front two legs I decided on her that we're gonna go ahead and bring in one of her back legs it just uh, made sense with the way that they were standing to go ahead and do that All right, so now we're going to pull in our black, and I'm going to go in and just make sure that the left side of their face is dark, and then I'm just adding in the bottom of their little legs, and it's just a pretty small little line. And then I'm just doing a bit more work to her white and his white to make sure that the top of their legs are good and fluffy. Okay, and so because this is for um, a bride and groom, we are putting in a uh, cute little bridal bouquet laying in front of our bride. So I went in with some Monet's Garden from DIY just to make some greenery uh, for our bouquet. And then I am taking some um, oh, DIY Queen Bee and putting in three flowers. Um, now these flowers are going to be sunflowers. And um, then I am taking Fire Starter and just making some like berries in there. Um, and I'm doing three sprigs of those as well. I just like to do things in the threes. Um, and now I am taking in some Bohemian Blue and making the center of those sunflowers. Um, it's dark enough, it won't really notice that it's not brown, but it gives a little bit of um, pizzazz to those sunflowers. And then I'm going to go in with some Dixie Belle Daisy and add in the lighter color on the sunflowers. Um, just to give them some depth and dimension. Now I have got some uh, fluff by Dixie Belle and I'm going to just add uh, five little white flowers um, in here randomly uh, just to add fullness and to bring that white in down through there. And then um, I'm not, I don't remember what color. Oh. I'm going to use the apricot um, from D, uh, Dixie Belle and put some centers in those white colors, those white flowers. And I am also using the uh, apricot from Dixie Belle to put a ribbon on the base of our bouquet there. Now we're going to go back in with some black and we're going to give our groom a bow tie. And we're just going to finesse that until we get it <clears throat> to look even. And large enough that it looks uh, right on his body. And then we're going to go in with some, and you can tell, um, some, oh, what is it? It's a copper, mm -hmm. uh, pennies from heaven from DIY. And we're just putting a crown, like a tiara, on top of her head that will house her veil. So then we're gonna go in, and I had to bang the lid on the table to get it off, but we're gonna go in with some buttercream, um, and that is a Dixie Bell product, and we're just gonna do her veil. And I want her veil to be airy, and where we can kind of see the sky behind it. So I am using this buttercream, I'm using a lot of water, um, so that we can smudge it out further and bring in 
um, the back, the <clears throat> sorry, the sky from the back so that it's kind of translucent. Um, where it is, it is a different color white than our sheep, but we do want it to be gauzy and veil-like. And then I went in with just some buttercream right there above the tiara um, to make it a little darker right there where all of the gauze is centrally located. And then I, right now, am just going in <clears throat> with some water. And then I'm wiping back. Uh, to try to help get this more and more gauzy so that it stands out as a veil and not part of the sheep. Okay, and so now I'm just going to go back in with a bit of black. And we are doing that just to um, sharpen up what got a little bit um, muted with the veil because we want the faces to be in front of that veil and the veil to be flying out behind. So we just want to crispen up the faces of our sheep. And then we're going to just go in and make sure we touch up any parts on their body as well. Okay, so the lady who commissioned this wanted there to be um, some shamrocks and she was thinking some shamrocks in the the grass um, but I decided that our bride and groom needed to be grounded a little bit and so I am adding in an archway over them um, to frame them out and to ground them and so I am going to add the shamrocks into the um, the archway itself that frames them out and so right now I am just laying in some uh, DIY um, Monet's garden which is a darker green and I just want to get the basic shape of our arch in there these are just little dots it's just to look like the greenery um, that is behind what we want to be our focal point and so now I'm going to grab that custom mix that I did the grass with and I am going to go in and put in some shamrocks all the way down our arch every so often. I do want to leave room in between them um, so that I can do some uh, what appears to be flowers. Okay, so all we are doing with our shamrocks is we are making um, three little hearts and then adding a tiny little stem to them um, and that gives us the look of our shamrock and the ones right there at the top the top one will be straight on the ones on kind of the the arch part of the arch are kind of sideways and then as we move down our arch to the straight areas those will be straight again. <clears throat> and we'll just get the last few shamrocks in there. Now, I know we've done these sheep before, but you can customize these simple little sheep into anything that... Um, you want them to be. So we have done the St. Patrick's ones, we've done the Christmas ones, um, and this was a request for the bride and groom. And so now that we have our shamrocks done, we are taking some Dixie Belle um, Daisy and we're just putting in dots all along between our shamrock to um, signify flowers in our arch. I um, It's such a tiny area that I chose not to define those 
um, flowers at all just to add in the um, the colors. Now I'm going through and I'm putting apricot in. Um, I thought I lost this footage because at one point I looked around and my camera was not on. So I must have turned it off after this and started the next section here where I am just adding in grass. Um, and so what I've got is farm fresh and I'm just putting in little pieces of grass so that our um, lawn area is not so flat and I must have lost a section of doing this and we're just going to go all the way through this and um, put it around the entire canvas and wrap it around the bottom. Now as we do our outro you will see the wording that I missed doing the um, the apricot flowers in our archway and um, that is a lie. I missed some of this uh, process, but as you can see, you're seeing a lot of it, so all is good. So this takes just a little time. I am never overly precise with this. I just make little dash marks to represent the grass. And here is our little sheet painting. Okay, so that's our painting for today. Like I said, quick, simple, and easy. Um, I did miss a portion in there, and I'm really sorry about that. I thought the camera was on. It wasn't, um, but it's just adding in a few of the little details. So, um, again, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of you hanging out with me, and you guys have a good week. Bye-bye.